hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if you're new here welcome my name is Tolu Lokwe I film about faith marriage lifestyle from Lagos Nigeria but today we're doing like a different kind of video okay because guys <laughs> I can't even believe that I am due in less than two days today is a Tuesday I'm 39 weeks and six days pregnant or five days and I am due on Thursday. Wow. It's been such a journey. I'm so grateful. But anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. <laughs> you know, I just said I should come here and um, do this what's in my, um, what's it called? Hospital. <laughs> See, pregnancy amnesia is real. Pregnancy brain is real. Anyway. So I said I should come here and do this what is in my hospital bag video because why not? And um, as much as I feel like there's so much I want to share like things like um, all the things we got so much but I just feel this is one of the ways I can showcase it and over the last couple of weeks you guys would have been seeing pregnancy related videos and let me know if you're enjoying it by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel um very soon we're going to be filming like back to filming videos that are non-pregnancy related okay so i hope you guys are taking this in as much as you can and don't mind the fat nose or the dark neck you already know what time it is it's pregnancy o'clock in fact it's almost due date o'clock so just roll with it okay so without further ado i'm going to jump into the video first um the hospital gave me a list but i don't think it's a it's a comprehensive list to be honest they just bring this i don't know why they would say i should bring just six body suits i'm like so what would my baby be wearing you know <laughs> but anyway shout out to one of my sweetest aunties auntie diola <laughs> i'm sure she'll judge me for mentioning her name but she sent me a list and she sent it like at the point where i was so confused as to what to buy because I, th I thought I was going to travel so I'd, I'd left everything till last minute but by the time I realized I wasn't going to travel I was so confused guys I was too heavy so I started going from here to here and thankfully PG traveled to the UK and was able to buy a lot of the things we needed and then Auntie Diola and her sister came through like they're so amazing I should not be talking about this in this video I don't think so no, I'll address that later. But then I'll say that like she's the one that gave me a comprehensive list of the things that I really need. She's a medical doctor, so it was easy for her to just tell me the so things you're actually going to need. I'm talking too much, so I'm just going to jump into the video. <laughs> I have my box here, and I'm going to start with clothing, okay? Clothing for baby. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful baby towel. Joe, I like it so much. We have washed everything. I feel fear. We have washed everything inside this box. Clothing related. So, we have this beautiful baby towel. And I chose this color. Like, while it was there, we were shopping together. I think we got it from Mother Care. Yes, definitely Mother Care. Or Mamas and Papas, one of those two. And it is so beautiful. I love it so much. So cute. <laughs> We bought another one, but I'm just going to take one of these to the hospital because I have some other mini mini towels that I can use for the baby. So, baby towel, very, very essential. Second thing for baby, I want to show you guys. Auntie Diola bought this for us. In fact, let me not even start because there's going to be a lot of Auntie this bought this for us. So, I'm just going to do a whole video on that. <laughs> but this is a, um, I think, a grow bag. Yes, that's what they call it. A grow bag for the baby it's like a blanket uh, what's it called now substitute it's a substitute for a blanket and I love it so much it says twinkle twinkle little star here I even love the fact that it's blue even though I'm having the baby girl you know it's just something you put the baby in and they are feeling cozy it doesn't have the sleeve but I mean just that alone, the baby being inside this is going to create an illusion of being inside a blanket. So I really love it because you don't have to do all the wrapping. 
you just wait for the baby and off you go next is baby blanket like i bought this on amazon and the way i have fallen in love with baby blankets i just feel like they're so squishy squishy and so beautiful and so nice so this is one of the baby blankets i'm not packing i think we have like three without the ones that came with the bed sheet and stuff just three single ones i'm taking just one to the hospital with the because of the grow bag you know it just goes as two blankets next onto baby clothes i'm not going to bore you guys but i heard that you need coming on clothes for baby <laughs> my heart like how cute is this guys see see it's just so cute so this is what i intend for baby to wear back home it's a unicorn of course dress from um next i really love it i think it's so cute then i'm not going to go into showing you all the bodysuits and stuff but the ones that are really really cute I want to show you guys like the ones that have a lot of maybe print on it and stuff so this i think is very cute it says born in 2019 so much love i love it i love it so much then the way pg the way pg folded this clothes eh, is a pro you will not know you could fold clothes like this now that i has come to his baby's clothes baba just folded everything neatly like even me i was shook anyway there's so many bodysuits and onesies. I think the same thing. <laughs> the ones that are not to the ground and the ones that are like half sharp. But this is one that I want to show you guys. It says, Happy birthday, Daddy. I am the best present ever. So if you don't know, my due date is on my husband's 30th birthday. And I feel like this should be my baby's first outfit. It's so beautiful. Of course, she probably be wearing a full body suit on top of it, but <laughs> my chest, I got it off Amazon, by the way. There's another one that says, I'm proof my father doesn't shoot blanks. <laughs> I just saw it and I couldn't resist. Anyway, let us move on to other essentials. We have, um, what do you call these things? I actually bought this last minute because it was on the hospital list. I didn't want to buy it because i already had a lot of um muslin squares but they said we should bring what they call this in the hospitals flannels i believe that's what's called or swaddle clothes or wrap clothes or something so i got it online here in nigeria i got it from someone on instagram so i bought a pack of three and i'm taking to the to, to the hospital but apart from that i have a couple of um what's it called now muslin squares for burping baby feeding baby and all the good stuff here yeah. then of course this has baby babes baby bows baby socks in it i'll just pack them together but let me show you a few of the baby bows because they are so cute <laughs> guys see 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 see, see. like <sighs> my heart is just tony on you <laughs> <laughs> my heart is busting with joy look at this like i feel like they're just so precious anyway so that's what's in here just a couple of socks bibs and bows here i have um wash clothes i have the hm like wash clothes and the normal wash clothes for also for baby and that's about the clothing for baby i almost forgot guys I'll show you guys these shoes and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen our pre-wedding um pre-wedding you guys would have seen our maternity shoots and this is the shoe we used to right and I'm taking it along to the hospital now this is the shoe right you guys can see let me bring it closer if you can see very well now it's like a a gone shoe looks like what has been in existence for ages and that's because he has so the story about this shoe is when i was 20 19 no 20 that was the year after i got to abuja i attended a program mother summit abuja actually um it's a program hosted by my mother-in-law in different states and um you know she spoke about how you can 
like use something to represent your unborn children so you can take something or buy something and i remember like the weekend after that program i went into a supermarket and i bought these shoes and it's been almost eight years and this shoe has been going with me i have moved houses i have even moved across country i have lived abroad i have come back i have gotten married and this is one of the things that i have preserved so much and um i'm looking forward to wearing it on the feet of my baby because i have prayed on it i have anointed it i have you know there are times that i just bring out this shoe speaking tongues over it for hours and stuff like that so for me it wasn't like a we had many shoes we could have used you can see it's even peeling already but it's just like a um, I don't know what to call it, but you know, it's very significant in you know, And it's not like we will be wearing it, but just that contact is Very key. So yeah, I just thought I'll put that out there now moving on to clothing for me I'm not packing much. I have a robe I bought off Amazon. It's just a black Basic robe, but the material is so beautiful. I also have Another robe here. It's bigger than that. So in case my stomach doesn't go back to being you know very accommodating of that yet i can always shove this on and it's even more colorful and nicer i have a basic um adult size towel that is just like the travel type then for just like hospital stay and stuff i have this uh, what's it called now button down um what's it called like a night to a button down night to wear slash day wear but it's buttoned down so it allows for ease of breastfeeding and of course i have my favorites to go with it i have so many of this as well well i'm even packing all that i have in the house here i have like three i'm taking to the hospital and i also have this pjs very important um to set you also have it has um let me show you guys the button down thing going on i bought it on amazon as well then i have my coming home clothes so if you've watched my um wedding wedding really if you watched my pregnancy photo shoots the behind the scene i mentioned that there was a dress i was given i wanted to use before my sister came through for you know i mean she came through with the original one i had in mind so since i didn't use this for my um photo shoot i'm just going to be taking this to wear when i'm coming back home in auntie diola's words status has changed now you have to dress like it <laughs> so i have to dress like a mom you know <laughs> anyway so yeah that will be all for clothing let us move on to the other essentials so this was on my hospital list it's the nightingale towel on the pants like I don't have no clue but thinking about it now I kind of know what it's for but it was there so I just picked this pack in Ebano and I have my toilet bag that has my hair nets, my deodorants, my soap, sponges, what else, a new toothbrush, bow oil. A lot of things but i have that you know just things that i don't want to forget also for me i have this so i think what they call it here is lady september or something but i got this instead and cd sent this to me instead it's called tenor from the uk she said that it absorbs more you know what i'm talking about so she got this for me um this is the extra flow one and then when it thins out i can use the um smaller normal discreet one something like that but you guys get the picture it's like a sandwich towel but on my hospital list they wrote always so i still went ahead and i got always anyway moving on another thing i have here is and this is beautiful <laughs> this it looks like a bra right i know i know it's, it's like a on this bag thing my colleague got married I, I vlogged that marriage that be the wedding and um, this was a souvenir in Ashwebi and I didn't think I'll ever use it because I wasn't very huge on the color anyway 
but it came in so handy so now i have all the nursing bras i need i have a nipple cream here i have like a head wrap a new head wrap from asos i have a what's it called breast pads um then of course i have this big let me show you guys because it's so funny to me i have this huge matala that i'm looking forward to rocking for some weird reason i just it's just very it stands out for me and i like it then in addition to that i also have um two packs of where is it two packs of um disposable panties and this has like five briefs in one pack so this is 10 all together and then i can move on to my patala patala means big pants sorry <laughs> anyway i also have this flip-flops for the hospital and stuff like that i haven't packed socks i need to pack socks but anyway i think that is all for me when it comes to just like essentials i don't think i'll be needing any other thing moving on to baby stuff let me start with food so we bought baby food just in case they see sometimes your milk doesn't come in and all that jazz and stuff like that and in addition to that because of that you know i'm taking like one feeder and one feeder wash just in case like i never know these things you know and since the box is big you might as well pack it anyway um this has a lot of um dummies pacifiers inside it and then this is a pacifier sterilizer it's soda sterilizer moving on i have nappy sacks 250 nappy sacks that are frag fragranced <laughs> i just remember the joke fragranced pg and i that is a joke anyway scented i can already smell it scented nappy sacks for disposing baby nappies um my hospital requested this so i bought it it's just all basic spirit and um cutting pads and um cutting buds and um <laughs> this is um baby cream for nappy rash pseudo cream and here i have um here's baby oil for the baby's head i also have um a flask just in case i have a baby wash I need to bathe for baby and i have a baby cream same brand see i'm trying to rush this video right and um i was told to also bring this extra virgin olive oil i think as it is it's for wiping baby down immediately baby is born so that is that no that is not that what's in here of course um this is like a set of baby i will remember don't worry baby <sighs> what they call these things tommy tp baby this pregnancy brain no? like baby essentials for there's something they call it but you guys it has the thermometer the scissors the file the comb and stuff like that why can't i remember what this is called pregnancy brain how can i forget diapers whoopsie so we actually bought a lot of um, pampas uk in bulk like in bulk guys <laughs> maybe it's like maybe it's one <laughs> but they actually come in this very big set so this um, was one of the things we got for hospital but i wasn't sure if it was going to be enough so i just removed again from the other big ones and added to it so yeah baby wipes you never have enough so i'm taking two of those that is all i think i'm just going to repack this bag now because we're off to the hospital tomorrow aside this the only thing i'm forgetting not forgetting i'm just going to bring along is the car seat which is humongous huge it's the zero to twelve one but aside that i think that is all i have in my hospital bag let me not make this video super long i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this is informative i feel like i've referred to a lot of these videos helped me make decisions that's why i needed to actually pull one out to also add my quota my own you know solution to the youtube community so i hope you enjoyed it again subscribe 
and i'll see you guys in the next one bye